I let my curiosity about the dating game compel me to consider attending it. I did not expect much to come from it, but it should be fun. Besides, I could learn more about the town's history and potentially gather some information pertaining to Walter's disappearance. The meetup was in a large auditorium wherein several of Vicksburg's populace were present. My curiosity slowly subsided when I noticed how every resident was draped in brown cloaks obscuring their pale, hairless bodies save for their hands. Their eyes were downcast and, much like the employee at the hotel prior, they moved in a drunken stupor with their legs knocking and wobbling about, reminding one of those trapeze walks at the circus. It did not help that the lights were faint, making me bump into things. The raspy, gruff drones of the residents reverberated through the room sounding pained and congested the further they lumbered along. They did not pay much attention to me when I first entered the establishment, making me wonder why the man running the service desk was so insistent on me attending. The building was also unbelievably cool, but that was to be expected from the town's ruined state. Rationally, I considered leaving then and there, but I ended up going along with the dating game. I sat at a table when the first option reared up. It was a rather short woman who leered at me with those same unblinking eyes of coal. I giggled nervously in an attempt to break the ice. So, uh, what are you interested in? She opened her mouth, letting a low groan leave her lips, whose dripped from her lips. Okay, could I ask you a question? The pale woman was too invested in a huge, hairy cockroach scuttering across the table. Before my eyes, she grabbed it with her open palm and took a huge chop out of the insect. Her canines ripped clean through the bug, her lips parting as she stretched the roach between her teeth as if the roach was string cheese. Thanks for the introduction, but I have to respectfully decline. Next. Another woman sat down, this time being taller with a hint of moisture behind her eyes. I was wondering if you know of a man named Walter Bean? He went missing in your town weeks ago. The woman leaned in, grinning. A mysterious fluid gushed from her lips when a huge smile spread across her face. Her eyeless sockets bore holes in my body. Her body trembled with pangs of hunger. He is here, with us. All are one within our God. God? What are you? Before I could probe her further, the woman lunged at me and pinned me to the ground. Her jaws unhinged and I peered into the depths of her mouth. Slimy drool dangled from the ceiling down to the base of her tongue. In desperation, I tried retaliating, but the taller woman was stronger. Soon, Yuta will become part of our god. I closed my eyes, fully expecting her to bite me in the neck. However, a few solid seconds passed. I reopened my eyes, seeing that the woman reeled herself back and clutched her head. Can't. Hurt. No. Yes. No. Get out of my head. Her head bobbed back and forth with her fingers tightening around her head. I became petrified, but now that she was distracted, I took the opportunity to knock her off. With one swift push, the woman fell to her side, still in an eternal battle with herself. A mob of Vicksburg residents staggered forward and dragged the woman away. Gasping on the floor, I slowly collected myself. Coming here was a mistake. I was only here because of a business trip, so it was in my best interest to pursue it. Maybe once I get that 
dawn, I could leave this godforsaken town in the dust. Oh my, that was quite the experience, wasn't it? My eyes leered at a young woman. What a sight she was, blue eyes. A flawlessly silky skin complexion, a low-cut red dress, an ample bosom, and a dark blonde bob cut with matching piercings. She strolled over to me and knelt at my level. Welcome to Vicksburg, sweetheart. She extended a hand to me and with little consideration for my own safety, I took her hand. Her palm was warm and cozy to the touch. There was something about her that seemed soothing. We haven't had that many visitors to this town in a while, pray tell. Why are you here? My mind became a total blur. I, um, I came here for business, yeah, that's it. The woman laughed to herself, dimples formed at the corners of her mouth only accentuating her wholesomeness. I got up from the ground, my eyes wandering back to the strange woman. You seem normal. Normal? Well, I certainly hope so, darling. It's just that the other residents here are somewhat peculiar. Ah, uh, that was my reaction to when I first moved here. She looked at me, her smile widening. My name is Narcissa Whitwe. Judging by your appearance, you must be the one who was invited to Vicksburg. Yes. My boss had connections in this town and had me come as a representative. Funnily enough, I never met him in person. Narcissa nodded. My god, I felt further ensnared by this mystery woman. If I had to wager why that was, it was definitely her voice. Her lipstick popped like precious rubies. Her plump, luscious lips were like hot butter with how flawlessly she spoke. I slowly forgot the horror of being nearly ingested by a psychotic woman. The more she talked, I felt myself falling deeper for her. You happen to be invited to attend this occasion? Why? Yes, I thought it would be pretty interesting. Vicksburg has this as a tradition. I was honestly getting bored out of my mind, my dear. But you made this more fun. I looked down and twiddled my thumbs. So, are you willing to try this date out? I would love that. We ended up talking for hours far past the time limit. Narcissa was truly an interesting individual. She had an extensive knowledge of the town and other subject matter. I found myself further wowed by her effortless recounting of historical events providing me with such an elaborate description. I was wondering if she witnessed any herself. She claimed to have family back in some city and was intending on returning there after the business trip. That infectious laugh of hers was music to my ears. I shared some of my personal information with her explaining the extent of my job and my interests. I have to admit that my eyes had a mind of their own. I gazed at her cleavage any time she bent. She propped her head on her hand and lovingly stared at me. Come to think of it, there was something that I was curious about. Have you heard of a man named Walter Bean? Narcissa squinted her eyes shut. The name does ring a bell. Why do you ask? It's just that he's been missing for quite some time. Hmm, perhaps he left the town and just neglected to inform anyone? I shrug. I suppose so. Sorry to spring something that deep on you. It's quite all right. After all, I am sure you heard of the rumors permeating the town. I nodded. Yeah, a private investigator told me of them. Narcissa frowned. It's just so terrible, isn't it, that a loving wife and mother would sacrifice her own family for eternal youth? Yeah, but it's a story. We shouldn't fret over some myth. 
A smile canceled out her frown. You're right, shall we? Take this discussion elsewhere? <laughs>